Welcome to our presentation titled Moving from Learning to Doing, an educational experience of temporary tactical action, an experience developed in the framework of a student's team found at the Politecnico di Torino. I'm Elena Montacchini, Associate Professor in Technology of Architecture at the Department of Architecture and Design, Politecnico di Torino. I'm Silvia Tedesco. I'm a researcher in Technology of Architecture at the same Politecnico. I'm Carlotta Gerbino and Tommaso Ferraris is here with me. We are former students, now architects, and we have personally had the experience we are going to tell you about. Carlotta and Tommaso are the founders of the student teams called AUT. AUT is a place to build architecture in a real environment through hands-on activities carried out by the students in cooperation with academic tutors and by involving a network of external stakeholders. In this presentation, we will talk about the aims of our work based on two keywords. Keywords one, temporary tactical action. Keywords two, learning by doing approach. Will we describe the AUT team's background and their path to self-constructing a microarchitecture for the reactivation of an abandoned green area? We will close with some consideration and conclusions. The aim of this research is twofold. The first is to experiment with a new practical learning model to empower architecture students exploring new forms of pedagogical relation between university and society by involving a network of stakeholders into academic training through the realization of self-constructed architecture for the transformation of fragile urban spaces. The second is to develop a new solution for the transformation of fragile urban spaces for their physical and social generation. Two key concepts are the focus of our research. The first is the concept of temporary tactical action. Our research begins with a collection and comparison of international experiences. Temporary tactical action are a growing trend all over the world. Urban space is increasingly used as an experimental ground where art, architecture and activism are interwined to create future scenarios in a physical and social regeneration perspective. Temporary tactical action are short-term action for long-term change to promote the goals of the 2030 Agenda related to social sustainability and urban regeneration. Temporary tactical action include a wide variety of very eclectic practices, different in size, purpose, time and actors involved. From the ephemeral architectures of young multidisciplinary architectural studios to temporary shops through spontaneous urban community gardens and pop-up plaza promoted by local administrations. The second keyword is learning by doing approach. We teach in the Master of Science degree course in sustainable architecture, especially in technological design atelier. With our students, we adopt the problem-based learning methods and challenge-driven approaches with the aim on the one end of experimenting with new teaching and learning modalities and on the other of providing answers to the real needs of the construction market. In this context, the learning by doing approach was adopted as an educational tool to experiment with the architectural choices and building projects. So, by applying them to a public context, a temporary real scale architecture was realized. The case study makes it possible to have an immediate feedback about the legitimacy of the proposals and their civic implication in a public urban spaces. Now we introduce you to the AUT team. AUT stands for Self-Construction Tactical Urbanism. AUT is a team of 14 students born from a student project of the Politecnico di Torino, coordinated by Carlotta and Tommaso. As students of architecture, we felt like our university education was lacking a practical didactical approach. When finding out, our main goal was to give the students the freedom to experiment and develop new professional skills, while taking responsibilities by acting directly on the territory and collaborating with its stakeholders. 
This was possible thanks to the Polytechnics of Turin funding program for students' projectuality that every year supports didactical and entrepreneurial activities by the students. We organized the team as a self-led group of students from different departments of the university, such as architects, designers, engineers, and so on. A professor is responsible for the group and acts as a coordinator supervisor. As a team, we started right away to offer different kinds of cultural and practical activities to the students, such as research, talks and meetings with distinguished professional practices in our field of study, and of course, design and build workshops, where to learn and test out new practical skills. Today, we're going to talk specifically about one of the workshops, the first one actually, held in summer 2019 in one of Turin's park. The Valentino Park is the main park of the city. On the river side of Po River, originally it was a private garden of the Savoy ruling family and their castle, which now hosts the Faculty of Architecture. Since then, it has been made public for the citizen and has hosted two different world expositions in the beginning of the 20th century. In the last decade, many of its historical clubs and bars have been closed, causing abandonment and social decay in various areas of the park. Without people leaving the place, the park has started being labelled as a dangerous place, especially after dawn. Many of the structures that once were hosting restaurants, bars and clubs were trashed and illegally occupied by homeless people. The most iconic of these places is the Imbarquino del Valentino, an historic social hub that has been destroyed by river floods and abusive inhabitants since its closing in 2016. In 2019, a network of associations chose to restore and reopen it, starting from the summer of that year. The occasion to get involved in the cultural and social reactivation of the park was offered by the Turin Municipality Call for Summer Events 2019, in which we took part as partners to the association that is managing the place, with a purpose to build a temporary structure that could connect the park to the building, symbolizing a new life for the area. Our project won the competition, so as out, we had the chance to design and realize the official structure to host these events. The process took us about four months and out followed the project in every aspect, from the municipality call to site analysis and first sketches, to the executive project, material purchase, and finally the realization of the final object during an open workshop in the month of June 2019. For us, in order to reach a high-quality architecture, it was important to have professional support from someone who had experience in this field. For this reason, from the design phase, we had the fundamental tutoring of Horizontal Collective, an award-winning firm based in Rome, Italy, that focuses on design and build and temporary structure in the public space. In the month of June, they came to Turin and helped us direct the construction site, sharing their knowledge with us and the participants of the workshop. In the summer months, the structure was used by many different associations for different reasons, but most importantly, it became a gathering spot for the people leaving the park, bringing back life where once it was only desolation. The project evolution wasn't linear at all, because the building regulations for construction in the public space are very strict in Italy, even more so in an historic park like the one we were operating in that has many constraints that require various approvals by different public authorities. For these reasons, we tried many different designs in order to identify the best possible typology respecting the law requirements. Finally, we realized that the only viable solution was to refer to Regime di Edilizia Libera, free building regime, that in case of public events allows the realization of a very simple structures, with no fixed roof or connection to the ground for a maximum of 90 days after which the structure must be dismantled. Since we were realizing this microarchitecture for events approved by the municipality, we decided to take this route. At the end of May, we could elaborate the executive project on the basis of the definitive design solution, which was reviewed and approved by Collettivo Horizontale, the professional firm appointed to carry out on-site tutoring activities. In self-construction projects, this is a crucial and highly formative phase because it forces students to translate an idea into a truly constructible object, to conceive the best section of construction phases and calculate the individual elements. 
This is really important for optimizing the purchase and the cost of the material, which has been ordered in a percentage of 15% more than necessary to compensate for any calculation or construction errors. The optimal solution is a stage that can form different shapes and typologies, allowing different functions depending on the needs. It is configured as a structure composed of a base of side-by-side -side frames, an elevation structure made with two M-shaped side closing frames, and a wooden planking as a horizontal closing. The main stage, with its trapezoidal development, is completed by an accessory side platform of complementary shape and a series of modular furniture forming tier steps or many other free configurations in public space. In order to carry out the project, we organized a self-construction workshop open to students and young architects and designers selected through a public call. The construction site took place in the second week of June. In the first phase, we used the workspace of LASSIN, the Innovative Technological System Laboratory of Politecnico, where we started a workshop from rough 4 meters long fir wood, performing some processes such as cutting with the meter saw, sanding, spreading the impregnating agent and doing a pre-assembly of the structural frames of the stage and furniture. While, in a second phase, we moved on site at Imbarchino del Valentino, where we completed the work adapting the construction to the irregularities of the soil. The structure was entirely dry assembled with self-treating torque screws, from the frames to the stage paneling in plan boards and to the composition of the furniture. We also studied a totally removable roofing system, consisting of a white scaffolding shading cloth, which we sealed with borders and perimeter eyelets useful for hooking onto the M-shaped elevation structure. The final result is a microarchitecture as a flexible stage that we wanted to call tableau, which means in the local dialect, painting, precisely because it develops like an optical cone framing the landscape behind it and creating almost infinite frame perspectives. During the summer of 2019, like a scenographic backdrop, Tableau hosted all the musical, social, cultural and sport events organized in collaboration with all the associations we won with the municipality call for summer events in March. It worked like a stage for DJ sets, theatre performances, concerts, lectures, yoga sessions and more unscheduled citizens' activities but it also played a symbolic role as a new icon in the park. We chose these representative photos of the riverside to show the surprising improvement of the area from an initial state of abandonment and disuse to an active and dynamic current situation. That public space is returned back to citizens not only for the stage in itself, but thanks to the new condition of use created by outstemporary interventions with a strong social and physical rehabilitation purpose. The innovative aspect of this research, based on the independence of student section, is the development of responsibility and awareness in the design of a real case, which have led to new professional skill as well as an architectural self-confidence that arises from direct construction experience. Moreover, the tactical intervention shows how it's possible to transform an urban space with low-cost but high-impact action and help to understand the new tools available for the architects. This experience results in a win-win outcome. This experience lets students take full responsibility of the process and learn how to realize and manage a small-scale project how to harmonize architectural experimentation with technical aspects, be, being able to respond to real needs and to respect urban plans, transforming an exercise of design into a tactical civic action. By founding students' initiative, architecture school can have a proactive role in civic involvement, improving the quality of urban life, as well as opening new opportunities to upgrade competencies and to connect universities, professionals and communities. For public authorities and societies, the advantage is to support the physical and social regeneration of a disused area. 
In general, this type of experience has some limits, but also many strengths. This type of experience is a powerful training activity that needs to be discussed more, as it would help to overtake the chesura that exists between architectural education and professional practice. This activity has great potential not only as a learning method and a strengthening tool for future architects, but also a solution for the transformation of a weak human spaces. However, offer the application as to deal with bureaucratic regulatory aspects, which are difficult to overcome. Difficult, but not impossible.